Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And before we begin, I've decided that Trash should equip the Ninja Gloves because not only do they give 91 defense, they also increase agility and hit percentage. And since he's the one swinging all the weapons, maybe he should have that. Furthermore, Gemma's studying. Okay, I won't bother him. Furthermore, the Lazuri Ring that I just equipped Hulk with increases spellcasting ability slightly, so, you know, I should give that to the person with spells. I'm definitely not the spy! You, uh, you cut all the spies! Yeah, last time we left off, there was some really trivial plot piece about how... Basically, we landed here in Tasnika Castle... And we found our friend Gemma, who was like, Oh, there's a, be on the lookout, everyone. There's a spy among us. And we immediately found him. Like, we talked to the king, and he's like, I'm not the spy. Then Gemma shows up, like, yeah, you're the spy. And the king was like, yep, you caught me. Like, dude, lie. You could have gotten away with that a lot longer if you just hadn't been like, Oh, it's me. I'm the spy, everyone. Anyway, the spy turned out to be a ninja. I killed him and manipulated some luck so that he would drop a treasure chest, and that's how I have the ninja gloves in my inventory right now. It's a, it's actually a pretty late level piece of equipment. So I have like one of the best uh, accessories or, or gauntlets in the game. At a point that I'm like really not supposed to have them. Medical herb won't fit. I bet it won't. I bet, you know what, I bet it would if you just ate one right now and then you know, then then put that other one in your inventory. You know how this shit works. Anyway, guess who we gotta see again? It's our favorite friend, Jack, who definitely isn't Sage Jock, even though I, I, we all know that he absolutely is. So that's cool. Why don't I just charge up this mountain and ignore some enemies? Well, look, this guy's almost dead already, so we might as well kill him. Yeah, slapped him with the whip. Let's go. Egatrice is poisoned, guys. Come on. Just don't even... Come on, guys. Alright, they did it. Egatrice leveled up! I'm just gonna, like, force my way through these enemies here. Get a couple level ups. And jump across this gap. You. How does that really work? Like, I'm... I'm... I'm not swinging from like a like a point overhead. Like I understand how the grapple beam works in the Metroid series, because you can literally swing from like a from a point above you. But this is like I whip a post across from me, and then I just jump. How does the whip help me get leverage there? I don't really see that helping unless I pull on it really hard. But like, how is that better than just getting a running start and jumping? Alright, I know I said that I was going to ignore some of these enemies, but you know what? Maybe I'll even use some magic on them. Yeah, look at this. Let's drain some MP from this flower. And shoot him while he's getting absorbed. That's right. Hulk got 11 MP back from that. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but that's like a third of his mana pool. At the moment. Yo, that was a lot of damage right there. Um, and I guess I could use some level ups. I don't really know if this next point in the game is hard. But hey, look, we finally get to meet the real Sage Jock. Hey, get out of here. Not in again. His Sageness will see you. Yo, look at this guy. He definitely looks like he's one of the, uh, one of the sprites, does he not? It seems like he would be one of the sprites, like the same race as Hulk. Before you sits his reverence, Jock. I'm his disciple, Jack, by the way. I know I didn't, uh, you know, introduce myself before. But I'm definitely not Jock. I'm Jack. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Zixindra Q. Master speaks in the old tongue. Allow me. What the fuck is the point of that? <laughs> they just wasted my time with another bit of trivial dialogue. You must undergo a test. Conquer the ones within and you'll find... Courage. Will you try? Yes. Right, good luck. Here's Sage Shock. Oh, he speaks a weird language. I can translate it, though. 
So then what's the point of adding that? Why didn't you just do that to begin with, or say that to begin with? Yo, this pumpkin just put up a wall. Like, he doesn't let any of his friends in. Doesn't show any of his emotions. <laughs> I'm not doing any damage to him, though. Never mind, I hit him for 120-something. Alright, this dude is annoying. Nitro Pumpkin gets wow. Yo! He might have just got crit twice there. Um, let me equip somebody with the axe. I'm gonna switch to Hulk here and use the Weir Buster. Isn't that a name of a sword in Final Fantasy 1? No, it's not the Weir Buster. You just get a sword called Weir. Weir Sword. Bopped him for 50. Yo, this slime definitely looks like he's a steel type. Like he's sort of like a metal slime, if you will. These enemies are hard, and I don't know... They're not even like hard! They're not hitting me for any damage, they're just not taking any damage. But I, you know, it's definitely a test of courage! Ouch, Acid Storm level 7? I did 72 damage. That's not that much. And I love that they keep casting Sleep Flower on memes, because she is immune to Sleep Flower. And I'm pretty sure that's because of her armor, which is called the... Flower Suit? I think it's just called the Flower Suit. I can check. I can check. But yo, imagine how good that looks on her! It's fan service, everybody! Yeah, there's a lot of that in this game. Um... Can I... Oh, I thought Hulk just got sleep flowered. Was I wrong about that? I thought Hulk just got put to sleep. Yo, nobody is dealing any damage here. Um... I could, you know, forget about it. And move on. Yeah, my regular attack does zero, so I have to charge up. I have to use a charged attack. Ooh, and then crit, for sure. Shape Shifter gets whacked. I haven't seen him shift shapes. I've seen him, like, summon a dog. Which is, you know, an awesome power to have. I'm not knocking it. But they call him Shape Shifter. Come to think of it, I had a dream last night about a Shape Shifter. I had a dream about a Shape Shifter who turned into a dolphin. But he had also lost his memory, so he completely forgot that he was a shapeshifter. Uh, and he was just kind of living his life as a dolphin until one day he ran into me, a human. And I was speaking, you know, human language to him. And he's like, how do I understand you? And I was like, I don't know. I've never seen a talking dolphin, dolphin before. And then slowly we pieced it together that, like, he was a shapeshifter who had lost his memory. Kind of a weird dream, if you ask me. But maybe something I should write a short story about. <clears throat> anyway, tell me about a weird dream you've had before. Yo, these, these people are dreaming now. Um, I'm getting a little bopped by these pumpkins. Never mind, he took one damage from that level 7 burst? <sighs> Alright, let's give... Let me switch back to memes, I think. Sorry for all the menuing, y'all. Um, Cause she can do some damage with his whip, but she just she just has to charge it. Yo, level five attack with whip? That's insane. Watch this shit. But, well. Oh, she attacks in all directions. She's so cool. Um, okay, let me charge up to like at least level three and smite these fools. There we go, that's some decent damage. Like, Trash should hit so yeah, okay, Trash can hit somebody with a level 1 attack for a little damage. Hulk is doing nothing except hoping for, like, a lucky crit. Man, it's hard to kill these enemies. Maybe I should just ignore them, like I keep saying. Okay. Ugh. I just switched characters from the Whip Lady. Don't land on that spike! Okay, ignore me. Alright, I'll just whack him and then run. 
and they'll be like, oh, you missed me, and then I'll run and be like, well, you didn't even try to hit me. Shit, Acid Storm. Oh, she's low on HP. <laughs> Look at her raising her fists like she's so excited to be Acid Stormed. Um, hold up, hold up. Oh, she just died. Fuck. I was trying to open her menu so that I could cast a spell, but she got stun locked, which is a thing that happens in this game. It's pretty unfair. But, you know, you can do it to enemies if you really want. Yo, stop running toward them. Alright, there's a lot of enemies in here with, like, really high defense, and I don't like that. Super annoying. On the Super Nintendo. Um, do I go this way? Nope! Immediately answered my question. I have to break all the rocks. You can't just break some of them. It doesn't work like that. Oh, shit, I remember this park. It begins. <clears throat> it sounded like I said, I remember this park, and that's what I meant. This is definitely a park. It's a beautiful place. There are benches and uh, a walking track. It begins. Win and you pass the test. Well, what happens if I lose? Yo, there's two of everyone and a lot of slowdown. Holy shit, look at this. And they all know, like, level six techniques with their attack. Oh, this isn't my friend. This is my enemy. Like, what happens if I just magic them? I'm gonna hit them with a big-ass rock. Um, and while I'm at it, why don't I give myself, uh... Some... I don't know what Lunar Boost does. I think it just... Oh. Attack up, evade, down? I love it. Wait a second. Look how powerful this is. Look at me shooting my bow at this dude. It did, like, 150 damage. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait for it. Okay, don't block it. Uh, I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you what Lunar Boost is doing for me, because it's giving me, like, a shit ton of attack. Yeah, see that? Just a regular bow shot does 128 damage? By bow shot, I mean arrow. Like, damn, look at me fucking this dude up. And, you know what, let's, uh, let's just hit him with the magic. I haven't shown you Lucent Beam yet, have I? I mean, I've used it on a, like an orb thing. Let's do... Oh, wait, I meant to use Memes as Salamando. I wonder if I can engulf them. Let's try that. Okay, quit ignoring my commands. Why is she not doing it? I'm probably just, like, selecting her cast at the wrong time. Like, I'm probably just selecting it. It did one damage. And it did not engulf them. I'm probably just selecting her, uh, her spells at a time where she's, like, immobilized. Okay, cool. I think that guy's, like, dead, dead. And he gives me his blessing. Did you see that? He nodded, like, good luck. But, yeah, it's good to focus fire. I mean, I said it's good to focus fire, but I had a free shot on this lady over here. Did she just jump kick? That's pretty neat. Actually, I think if you if you use like the leveled up attack with the gloves, Shadow X2 gets whacked. That's the make and model of this uh, of this robot clone. Anyway, I feel like I keep starting a sentence and then not Say I'm saying something else. I don't finish it. Well, they all died. Is something supposed to happen? That, am I? Okay, it brought me back to the beginning. We won, huh? Where's Jock? Well done. When you put your hearts together, nothing can stop you. We will master the sword by joining courage, knowledge, and love. Just like the Triforce. I am Jock. The old man was an illusion. I never would have guessed that this was not Jock. Why didn't you help us sooner? You weren't ready yet. Your ears could hear, but not your heart. Yeah, hearts don't do that, you fucking idiot. 
I'm not like a weird bug thing like you. I waited for you to find your inner strength. I waited for you to get to level 35 or greater. Now, go now. The Emperor seeks to raise the sunken land atop the coral. You'll find the tree palace. Below lies the mana fortress. Something evil seeks the seals. Hurry. Oh no, not seals. I got all my HP back and my MP. That rarely happens. Well, okay. Let's go, um somewhere different anyway it seems like lunar boost is like an awesome spell maybe I'm just that good without it I don't need this treasure chest look it's just gonna be a doom trap haha -ha, I tricked you dead still alive never mind still alive hey can you heal me <clears throat> I'm gonna see what happens if I call Flammy while I'm getting cure watered. Nothing special? Okay. Um, so now, we gotta find that big ass, uh, sunken continent. You know. You know. The thing that looked like a sunken continent. It's kinda in the middle of the... Here. It's right here, as a matter of fact. This is where it is on the map, precisely. In the middle of that sunken continent. Let's land. You can't land on top of the middle part of the building. Whoops. I didn't heal myself. Okay, I wasted the MP and didn't gain the benefit of the healing. Um, this seems like a palace. If you think about it, what's around the outside? Two trailer park girls, you say? There might be a Nico over here. No. I think later you can do some shopping because Nico will just kind of camp out here. But instead, I showed you nothing. Let's go inside. Uh, who could use a weapon change? That makes it sound like, like my weapon is dirty and it needs a change. Like a diaper. I didn't mean it like that. Wait! Trash can get the spear. Yeah, let's use this. He's barely leveled up in it. What else? This lady is using the whip. Wait, the whip can go to level 6? Yeah, she can keep that, for sure. For sure. What about this dude? What about this little guy? Oh, uh, yeah, he was using the, the boomerang before. Haha, <laughs> 69. Okay, I'll give him the boomerang back. Just so that he can be a master at it. 56 damage? Sure. It has a lot of range, though, okay? Like Mariah Carey. Uh, People? So glad to see you. You're going to like this. The ancient continent will surface once I've broken all the palace seals. Oh, he wasn't being sarcastic. I actually think I will like this. Once I break this last seal, the Mana Fortress will rise. And it's really cool. I'm glad you're here to see it. Watch this shit. Too bad you won't be around. What are you talking about? I'm right here. Who wants the job? No, neither of you? Nobody? Nobody's speaking up? All right, all right, I'll do it. I owe them one, says Sheiks, since the Republic. I owe them one since the Republic, you know. Leave it to me. That made sense. Who is this? I have no idea who this person is. You? You're the do the Dark Stalker? Oh. That was last episode. When I fought the ninja- Okay, this absolutely is not clear. And you wouldn't get it? Unless you specifically targeted- Um- let me back up for a second. Remember that dumbass thing I was talking about with, oh, there's a spy in Tasnika College. Sorry, castle. Um, and it was the king, and the king's like, yup, it's me. And he, like, readily admitted that, even though his disguise was basically foolproof. And I think Gemma was accusing him of being in the spy, but it was kind of like a shot in the dark sort of thing, because there's no way he could have known. Anyway, this guy was like, yep, I'm the spy, and he turns into a ninja, and the name of that enemy is Dark Stalker, but you would not know that unless you targeted him with magic and, like, specifically looked at his name and tried to find it out yourself, because I don't 
mention it otherwise. You? You're the Dark Stalker? So yeah, you would only get what he's talking about here if you went out of your way to find out what the name of that enemy was. Behold, have a taste of my true power. And, by the way, this sprite looks nothing like the Dark Stalker ninja thing that we fought in the last episode. So, you couldn't know that. It's stupid. Ah, this is more like what he looked like for sure. Ha, the underworld gives us its strength. I'll squash you. Like, now you gotta explain what you mean by the Underworld, because, like, nothing up until this point has mentioned the Underworld. The contract we signed with the Underworld gives us control of this world. Oh, you know about the Underworld, right? No! That's never mentioned in the plot up until now. To keep humans under my control, we're reviving the Mana Fortress. This shit is what I'm talking about. Like, this game and a lot of the Mana games... Just love to randomly bring up shit that was never mentioned, and it sounds like it should be a huge part of the plot, but up until this point, I have never heard of the Underworld. But this guy is like, I am Lord of the Underworld, which, by the way, I have to explain to you is important. Now your time is over. What do you want to bet that this guy is afraid of Fire-type Pokémon? I will. Analyze the Agagropilon? Agagropilon. Ugh, that sounds gross. My regular level 1 attack is doing so much damage right now. Doesn't fear any magic in particular, huh? I'm gonna hit him with the Lucent Beam. Level 0. Bopped. 61. I need scissors. 69. Um, well, let's try something like Evil Gate. Level zero. I haven't shown you what the spell looks like yet. It looks roughly like that. <laughs> I did one damage. Watch out. Uh, I can't get too close to him. Wall, huh? You know what? I think I can undo wall with dispel magic. And while I'm at it, I should heal... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll heal all of us. Heal all. It was great that I... That actually was really good timing, because... Can't undo wall? Then what the fuck is the point of dispel magic? What the actual hell is the point of that? Haha, <laughs> I did 69. Okay, so I just found out that that spell is pretty much completely worthless. Ugh, and I... Ugh, I hate that I can't get too close to this guy. But I think Wall just straight up reflects magic, right? So, like, well, I can find out. Let's try hitting him with uh, a weak magic here. Yeah, it repelled it. It repelled it back at Trash, who was going to take a little bit of one damage. Holy shit, this guy is fucking us up. Because Memes already died. Well, she's not quite dead yet. Uh, this is unfair. Hitboxes are unfair in this game. Like, how are you supposed to know not to get within three meters of this guy? And holy shit. Like, they just chain up the attacks here. No, use the chocolate on memes. Holy shit. I'm having a hard time um, with healing my party members here. Okay, so like, I, I don't understand why Hulk isn't like attacking. Hulk might die here. Yeah, I, I need to have them not get landed on. Yeah, so like, run away, dude. I might need to, like, really, um, switch control of my characters a lot here. Like, I'm- I need to do, like, a ton of micromanaging here in this battle. Because I keep getting stun locked. Like, you absolutely cannot get close to this guy. Because he just puts up a wall. He doesn't let anyone in. 
Uh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but like... Getting within 10 yards of this dude in any other direction will instantly kill you. Sounds like I'm complaining a lot, but I love this game. Also, what the fuck, dude? He just kinda like, spazzes out. Did I somehow kill him there? When he was off screen? I'm looking at my webcam with confused face right now, even though I'm not you know, currently using my webcam for this video. But imagine it, okay? Because that was weird. Way to go. You, uh, you did it. You got a orb. I can't believe this, ooh -woo. What did he say? The stage is set. The green flag drops. The stage is just above us. I'm sorry, I was making a reference to a game called Rock and Roll Racing by Interplay, which eventually became Blizzard. It's actually a really awesome game, and maybe I should stream it sometime. It sounds cheesy, and it is, but it's a lot of fun. The seal's melting. We're not going to make it. We're right here. You, We're within one step. Just lick it, like you always do. No good, it's too late. What's too late, exactly? Get out of here now! This is my house, says this. A dancey tree lady. I am Dryad, the tree spirit. The seals on the word world seeds have been broken. So get out of here now! The continent that sleeps beneath this palace will soon rise. Leave now. The text is a little bit difficult to read on the on the no background. What about you? I wasn't able to save this palace. I'll go down with it. Alright, take it easy. Idiot! What will that serve, you fucking idiot? Come help us save mana, you idiot! Thanatos sealed my mana magic. I won't be of much help. Yeah, they keep saying shit that requires, like, way more explanation than they're giving it, but what he means by that is, um... Well, I'll show you in a second. Don't worry, let's go. Oh, well, now that you put it that way. Hurry! Well, okay, I'll do what I can. Gain Dryad's powers. So what he meant by that is you only really gain two out of three of the, uh, of the Dryad spells. And the last Dryad spell, the third one that is sealed by Thanatos, apparently, is called Mana Magic. And you get it, like, at the very end of the game, but basically it turns the sword into the actual sword of Mana. And that's, like, a huge spoiler, and I shouldn't have said that yet. Oh no, it's rising. Call Flammy who can definitely pick us up in the indoors. Hold up, it's rising, we need to get out of here. No, it would be worse if it was sinking, don't you think? It'd be like way worse, I think we'll be fine. Holy shit. The music has changed into something ominous and foreboding. And Softly dramatic. Gemma, handle these knights. Please kill them. Holy shit. What did I, uh, what did I get myself into here? Hey, can you guys hit these dudes, maybe? No? Never mind. I'll do all the work myself. Uh, Gemma. Trash. The sunken continent has surfaced. Wait, what are you talking about? You mean this sunken continent? You don't say. The fortress is there. I've brought troops here to keep the Empire from taking the mana for- How did you do that so quickly? Oh, I was, uh, I was just waiting under the water the whole time. There's an ancient city under this grand palace. We must get into it. But you need tickets. And they're very exclusive. Emperor Vandal is worse. That was dumb, sorry. Emperor V is working for the Underworld. You know, the thing that was just mentioned like a minute ago for the first time. This place is full of ma 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 monsters Though your sword isn't fully powered, you need it to stop the Emperor. Also, this gun. We'll fight off the Imperial troops here. You catch up with those soldiers. Alright, I think this is a fine place to stop the episode. 
and I'll pick up, uh, you know, some other fucking time. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching this part of Secret of Mana. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Not me.